What is up, TGS crew? This is your boy, Perfect Blue, and I am here today with our week six battle of the TGS against King L5, Oakland Rose Raiders, this kid right here. So wait, wh where am I on this? Uh, I'm Rai, uh, Washington Braviaries, you know, Rai6807 uh, or whatever his numbers are. Um, this TGS is a league ran by good friend uh, Ogobina, my favorite um, Overwatch player. He's a really good Doomfist player and Genji player. I'd recommend you check him out for th those uh, that gameplay. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to replace for the final three weeks. If I make playoffs, you know, that's cool. But if I don't, then, you know, I'm just here to, you know, have a good time, as the kids like to say. So yeah, let's just... Uh, look at the matchup here really quick is this too loud i'm gonna turn it down a bit actually because it's too loud in my ear and that's the ear that matters I'm doing this in kind of one take but yeah um as you can see we have dragapult terra king gambit azumarill crocodile alola nine tails thundy i a uh, coalfish galley drift blim with terra and ice q and l5 has champal terra drill necrozma screamtail tyranitar keldeo cloister thwacky noivern so, look, did he message me? Okay, I, I don't know what this guy's doing, but, um, yeah, looking up an image here that I could just put up here. So, yeah, lo looking at the team that, um, L5 has, I've, I've sp spectated a few of his games. Uh, he's very fairy weak. His resist is Excadrill, and you probably want that to Terra. So, uh, I think that's a very exploitable weakness that his team has, and, uh, yeah, Fairy's good against him. Uh, he has Chiampao, which I think is, like, it, this is the big threat on his team. Uh, I have Azumarill plus Alola Ninetales, though, so it's, like, it's, like, super chill for me. Uh, as well as, like, Quillfish, to an extent. I even have Ice Q. Like, it, look, I'm set against the Chiampao. Uh, Excadrill, scarier threat against my team. Uh, I think it might be, like, a clear amulet thing, because against Crook and Quillfish, uh, could be very scary. Um, Necrozma could be a DD sweeper, could be rock polish, weakness policy, BS. Um, I, I, I do have a lot around Necrozma, including the double dark, so I'm curious to see what kind of set that is here. It could just be a more passive set, like it could be the rocker, it could be knockoff guy. Um, I doubt it, but you know, we'll see. Uh, Screamtail, I think Screamtail is really annoying because uh, it prevents dragon spam. Uh, against the team, but like Polt, you know, still kind of can bop it a little bit. Not really. Uh, Screamtail's really bulky. Uh, Titar enables the drill. I get it. Uh, it also gets knockoff, which is annoying. Keldeo. Uh, I think I have one of the better Keldeo matchups, but it's still very scary. Um, it can vacuum wave in this, so I have to keep that in mind. Terra Cloister. Cloister's very annoying. Uh, I get it. Um, you know, yeah. Uh, Thwacky, I don't really expect the Thwacky to come, but like if it does come, then, you know, props to the chef. And then, uh, Noivern, which is uh, a nice form of speed control, uh, especially because the Chiampao isn't really good here, so I do expect the Noivern here. Uh, my flying resists aren't the greatest, and it's also just an annoying mon, like, it could in theory, like, wall crook, I guess, and, uh, yeah, let's... Let's get into the team I'm deciding to bring here. So, first thing I have here is uh, Thundi Eye. It's going to be um, a more physical spread, uh, mostly for the hammer arm. Uh, I wish I got superpower, but you know, <laughs> oh well. Um, but yeah, so this is enough tax so that a U turn plus hammer arm actually can kill um, Titar, unless he's like max defense, which could be a thing against me but i do expect like a more um like it, honestly something i do expect is mix i think mix is really good especially because i have dual intimidate so uh yeah that, that could be a thing there um i, I went discharge because you know fishing for pairs is really cool um i live uh adamant rock slide from full from Ad like from drill so uh, I can keep that in mind. I just can't take any chip, which between sand uh, might be kind of tough to do, but I do expect like 
Um, because I do have a little of Nine Tails, he might not be able to rely on Sand as much. So hopefully that helps me out there. Um, Dragapult, I put an Air Balloon on here. I, I don't know what set I want. This is just more drill insurance, if I'm being honest. Um, if Thundee goes down, then uh, this can be Earthquake switch in technically, I guess. Uh, I didn't want too much attack on here. Uh, this is just like around to spread Wisp and stuff. Uh, Dragon Darts so that it keeps Noivern and I guess Keldeo to an extent, honest. Uh, I, I, I can two shot max HP Keldeo with this, so um, it's very nice. And uh, yeah, I just went pretty bulky because like just in case Drill gets out of hand, I do want this to be able to take a hit if possible. As well as like Necrozma, like um, low key, like if it is a Dragon Dance Necrozma, like I do expect Psychic Move and then like, I guess like Earthquake maybe? Could be Fighting Move as well. Uh, point being, I, I don't think it'll have super effective coverage for my pull. So I can take the hit, fire off a Wisp if it's physical, and then if it's special, then uh, I just give up. But yeah, so um, thinking it's lead Thundee, uh, if, if if it's a lead Titar, I really want, I really think it could be Scarf here. So it's probably just switching to my Crook. But yeah, uh, we have King Gambit here. Um, I, I didn't want to get cute. This is my Terra Dark guy, uh, Iron Head. Uh, this is just a two shot. Um, or like at plus two, I just Oko the a uh, Titar. I didn't want any speed on here because uh i just value the bulk here just in case chien pao uh drill or like t-tar gets out of hand uh king gambit can take a hit uh, i went with mental orb just in case it is encore uh scream tail uh so that it can keep the sd up i think that could be early heat uh, i thought about black glasses i might just switch to black glasses i don't i don't really know now i'll go mental herb by making the big brim play um yeah uh, Azu here, uh, we're going with, um, a bulkier spread. A Billy Drum's here just, like, just in case. I, I didn't really have a good fourth move. I thought about Encore because it's broken, but can't really abuse too much with that. But yeah, a Play Rough, very spammable against this team. Aqua Jet, nice priority, uh, especially versus Excadrill. And then, uh, Resto Chesto, the knockoff options aren't great. It's Titar and Necrozma. So I can get the Resto Chesto off, that could be nice. Uh, this is my... Uh, initial switch into Keldeo as well, so that's why I'm a bit more spadef. Um, is this Technic? Yeah, 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 it should, uh, yeah, because 64, okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, it's cool there. Um, let's see. Oh, G Gambit, by the way, uh, I just went, yeah, it's just the attack for that. Um, I just put the rest in defense, yeah. Pull, I think speeds for plus one adamant and Krozma if it is Dragon Dance, so yeah. Ozzy no speed, obviously. Uh, I go with the Scarf of Lola Ninetales here. This is more insurance against Spin Drill. I I'm really scared of the Exit Drill. I think it's his best thing. Uh, just one point to outspeed it. Yeah, I don't outspeed like Shell Smash Cloyster or Scarf Keldeo, but this is an Alola Ninetales. It's not very strong. Um, with Modest, uh, Max Spatak, I'm still barely stronger than like. What's 287? I'm, I'm as strong as, like, no Spatak Gardevoir right now. That's, that's kind of, kind of eh. Um, but yeah, I'm mostly going to be clicking Moonblast and Blizzard. Um, this is, just in case it is Spin Drill and my pull is weakened. Yeah, it, look, I, I just have all the drill prep. A Veil, just in case. And, uh, last one here, we have Crook. Um, went with the scarf but bulky maybe i can catch something off guard i don't know that could be pretty funny if i do though so um yeah let's uh poop in bigly hello okay so i guess we just have to wait for my opponent to um get ready i ready um it, it's terror preview yeah this Turn off spectators, and then I'll put on uh, this on the side just so you guys, the audience, can stay engaged. Um, yeah, I'll just send the challenge here. Turn the timer off. Um, good luck, have fun. Uh, let's get the link as well. Um, put it in TGS. Yeah, this is the first uh, TGS game for Perfecti Blue here. Um, Let's see, what does 
What does this guy not bring? Um, no scream tail. Okay, interesting. So uh, the mental herb on this is kind of useless. Um, Excadrill bodies me. Necrozma can do it. Oh wait, what's the terror? Electric cloister. Okay, that's to set up on the thunderous. Uh, I do have the taunt though, so um, got him there, boys. Uh, but it's also to break through the Hazu, right? So. Uh, Cloyster is actually really scary. Why didn't I just... Okay, why is Ninetales so weak? See, I really wanted to just speed creep Scarf Keldeo. Because that'd creep Adamant Cloyster uh, at plus two. But this Mon is so weak that it's just... It's unfortunate, you know? Um, As for Lee... Oh, my pull actually clicks darts for free against this whole team. So that's, that's kind of nice. Um, Yeah, there is a Noivern. Um, I'm thinking either a Thundy or a Crook lead. Uh, if I do lead Thundy, let's see, against Drill? No, it won't be a lead Drill. Against Necro, I could taunt. Seems to be the rocker. Um, against Keldeo, I obviously threaten that. Against Cloyster, uh, that's tough, because it's Terra Electric. Against Titar, I switch immediately into Crook, though. You know, I'm gonna just lead Thundee. Why not? Necrozma, I think I just taunt here. Um, seems simple. I just want to prevent rocks from getting up. Um, you know, keeps... To God and boys. Okay, let's just U-turn on out of here. And uh, let's see if by the U-turn damage from my Thunderous, I am able to... Uh... I need to import the sets. Hold on. Yeah, this is a bit of a mess right here. Oh, it's weakness policy. Well, crap. Um, this is not very good. Um. Uh-oh. So, huh. Did he just click psychic move here? I don't think it has a move to cut the crook here, so. Um, hold on. Let's look at a... I haven't played a game in forever. That is very bulky, actually, for an Necrozma. I think I could just go into my Crook. But I... Okay, no. I want my Crook, like, healthy still, though, for the Intimidate. I could go into my King Gambit. Threaten it out, because I'm Terra. I'm gonna do that. Photon Geyser. I'm th I'm just the Go. I, I don't... I don't know. Now, here's the thing. Does Necrozma get anything to, um... Kill me if I tear a dark here. I don't think it does, but I just want to be sure. So let's see, Necrozma. Um, let's see, special moves. Oh, it could be physical actually. No, if, if uh, I am, I know a physical move won't kill me. I think I just tear it here. Wait, no. Why did I do that? Okay. I think I just kowtow here. Yeah. Brick Break doesn't kill, obviously. I get rid of Necrozma. That's that's good. Um, man, what if I did Sucker? Wait, why didn't he just Sucker? He was taunted. He might be stupid. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is just a switch into my Azu. Um, I can calculate the damage here. That looks like Specs, so... Um, yeah, let's keep that in mind. Nice fairy resist. It's Excadrill. Maybe go hard into it? Question mark? Yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, play rough here. Oh, I see, because I open Pokemon Showdown on, a thi on like another thing, and I have a timer starts automatically, because I like to timer my uh, friends whenever I do play. I only mock actually these days, so yeah. But yeah, I, I think play rough is kind of free here. Yeah, just gonna play rough. Um, Cloyster, does it just win? Hopefully. Nah, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, this mon is very scary though, so. Uh. Let's see. 
If he shell smashes, do I just lose here? This is my setup fodder. This is setup fodder for him, actually. So maybe, and if I do, that sucks. I could get damage on this to revenge it with King Gambit, maybe. Um, that's not a, a terrible play. But it could tear electric and just kill me here, no? I could go Crook, just so he doesn't get the defense boost from White Herb. I'm gonna do that. Tear electric? No, toxic spikes. Interesting, okay. Um. Oh, I should have calced this actually. Uh, calc the player rough damage. I kind of just assumed. Oh, okay, it is. It looks to be like no bulk, so that's cool there. Um, crocodile though, I can just earth. <sighs> Earthquake's not free, that's the, the problem. Um. Yeah, now the T-Spikes hit my Gambit, so Sucker Mind games are a lot more annoying. I could also just get up my Rocks here. Although, Rocks don't look the best here, so... I, I Earthquake for damage, I think, here. Um, Just to weaken the Cloister. If he does go into Noivern, that is annoying, but I like I have a Thundee to pivot in. Uh, double Fairy. No Noivern's, you know, it's a, it's a big threat. Uh, some people just don't know how to respect it, but... Uh, yeah, it could be, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I just Earthquake, uh, get some damage off. There's the Shell Smash. At plus one D, kill my Crocodile with Spear. Probably, right? Like, it, it should. Icicle Spear... Plus one. Yeah, oh, oh, and okay, of course it does, yeah. So I sack something here, unfortunate. But it happens. Actually, what are the odds I'm faster than this? Nah, he has to be like no speed invest to not get outsped here. I'll just sack this, I think. Ice Beam, okay, so it is special. So it's Ice Beam Terror Blast, I know that now. Um. Can't go Thundee. Wanna keep the Luna Pool. Uh, hmm. Nervous, okay. Um, do I lose here? Is the question. Maybe that'd suck. Yeah, it just kills the Azu with Terra Electric. What are the odds my Nine Tails outspeeds this actually? I can live live it with the Nine Tails actually. Wait, no way. That's that's not Terrid, is it? Oh, it is Terrid. Wait, Nine Tails low key the goat then. What the heck? I could also go um, Gambit, but I do want. Do I need Gambit like him actually? Um. Yeah, I could just force 50-50s. Uh, do I want to... No, I'll, I'll go Nine Tails here, I think. Because I love the hit, so... Um, it's nice there. I think I just Moonblast here? Yeah, I'm gonna just Moonblast. Uh, if it wants to tear Electric, get damage off, you know, that's... It's fine. Um, I do take, uh, tear Electric, though. Uh, losing health on this sucks, um, but kind of need to at this point. Uh, wow, okay, I did not prep for a cloister. This is unfortunate.
Terra Blast. Okay, yeah, that doesn't do enough. Oh, just Moon Blast here. That will, yeah. And I th still think I, d do I disguise the fact that I'm Scorf? No, I don't think so, actually. Hmm. I need him to miss a pump, actually, on my Azu because I didn't rest there. I just play roughed. Hmm. This could have pl been played more optimally, I think. But I still have my King Gambit around. Um, for a late game, that could be kind of scary. Not bringing in t yet it's kind of crazy, actually. Could could be a Tito right now. Um, I don't know if it's Scarf yet, but I think regardless, I want to keep my Thundee alive. Um, helps with Keldeo. Actually, can it be Keldeo without it? No, I I need I need Chip on it for Pult to kill it actually. So. Hmm. Shuckle 15, this, this guy's disgusting, by the way. Don't, don't let him into your games. Let's see. So if Drill comes in here... I think I just go hard into pull. That's definitely my play because it covers anything he wants to potentially go for. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I, I think I immediately just go pull here unless I'm missing something. Wait, well, hold on. What tears the drill? It's ground. Okay. I could also just go hard into Thundee here. That's not the worst play, I think. Um, if this is Scarf Drill, it's a bit annoying because then I'll lose my Thundee for sure. But, hmm. I need to get the rest off with Ozu somehow. Um, so let's see, I'm at, I'm at 60. So if I switch in, um, so I'm at 58.6. I'll be at about 46 after the round of T-Sp- How much does Drill do to Azu? If like, in, not for this turn, but to send it in after, he'd do too much. Okay. I th I think I could just go hard Thundee here. I kind of want to keep Pull in the back just so that um I can lure with the Thundee so that he thinks late game he can just win with the Drill when he doesn't. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Rock slide. He has to know I'm hammer arm, right? Let's see. So, what are the s scenarios? If he's scarf, I go into Azu and rest. Um, I hammer arm here for sure, then, right? No, he has to know I'm hammer arm, though, is the thing. If I sent it in like this, right? Or that, like, I, I've move of some sort right could also just tear it to avoid hammer arm just killing i i, I think hammer arm is my play if it goes into noivern if noivern's the play here i could i think i just sack thundy yeah okay so it is scarf i'm going to go into my azu and just get the rest off here Let me see. Let me think about this, actually. Yeah, I just rest here. So it is Scarf Drill. Good thing we know that. Uh, now he will probably think that late game Earthquake wins. Um, so let's see. How to set up the Pult win? Uh, I'm not max attack, so I probably I might need chip on the Noivern, which could be my downfall. Um, let's see. If I need chip on the Noivern, how would I get that? If he's bulky Noivern, I'd need chip. Th th that's the scenario. Uh, Tyranitar as well, although I could U-turn. Like, I U-turn for damage, right? But I feel like that's still not enough. 
Because, like, U-turns only doing, like, 30. This is a Tyranitar. So two U-turns plus darts would probably do it. But I just don't think I have enough stacks late game to do that. Um, yeah, I just rest here regardless, though. What are his plays? He could go into T-Tar, I think. No. No, I don't think T-Tar's ever a play here because he probably fears liquidation for me, right? Let's see. He, so he fears liquidation. That means his play is either to stand with the Excadrill or go into Keldeo or Noivern. But that's banking on the fact that he doesn't think I'm play roughing here, which I'm not. Keldeo comes in. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to Resto Chesto up here. I obviously can't Aqua Jet. I just have to play rough here. Um, Keldeo. So it is Specs. Probably just wants guaranteed damage on me, right? Or wait, hold on. Is it Specs? That doesn't look like Specs thinking about it. No, it should be Specs, right? How much did it do? Hyper Beam. Well played. Okay. <laughs> Man. Okay. I think I just Aqua Jet here. Damage. Um. Ninetales does nothing to the T-Tar. That's an issue. But you can weaken it maybe so that Polk can win. Let's see. So if I go Ninetales and Moonblast. He doesn't know I'm Scarf yet. Although he probably has that assumption. Do I need Gambit in this late game? Because I think I lose, um, let's see, with Gambit, I lose to the T-Tar for sure. Sucker Punch isn't doing anything. I could just go Gambit and try to bait him, like him thinking that, um, I'm going to Sucker there and get a big hit off with something. Because if he loses his drill here, I think that's the win con he's going for. Uh, it also could be a setup T-Tar, the way he's kind of playing it, so... Uh, fuck it. I, I think going Gambit's honestly a play, and just to Iron Head. I'm gonna do that. Because I, I take the T-Spikes. He knows I lose the Sucker game now. The uh, Sucker Punch Mine games. Um, I can play for that though, yeah. Mental Herb. Unfortunate. Helmet Noivern. Interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna Kowtow. Guarantee damage. That did 50. Can I calc that actually? I have three fallen. No, actually, it, I, I mean, not that it matters, to be honest, because late game. Uh, let's see. Terra. No, I mean, Terra Dark doesn't matter for the Iron Head. Uh, three allies fainted. He is very bulky, actually. Let's see, if I were to get damage off on the T-Tar, can I win with pull? I cannot. I, I need more ship on it. So I think I go pull and darts. I'm gonna do that, yeah. Dragon darts here. Darts is my play. Yeah, darts is no drawback. Master J left. I, I like that guy though. What the heck? Um, yeah, I darts here could be a sack Noivern into go into Excadrill moment or could just be a go into T-Tar moment. Can I win the game? Oh, hold on. How much chip do I need for nine tails to kill the T-Tar? I'm sure a lot, but so like, let's assume max HP T-Tar for, for example, uh, for nine tails to kill it, I'd have to blizzard actually. Cause that that's that'd be the way to kill the drill, right? Actually, Moonblast is doing a bit. Hmm. 
Wait, no, sand has to be up. Never mind. Yeah, Moonblast is doing about 40% then. Um. Let's see. Dragapult. He has he didn't reveal Mold Breaker, but Pult can still take a hit. Um. I assume he just kills me with Crunch here, no? Or knockoff? Like, it doesn't matter if I burn him at this point, right? I think I have to go for it, though. Because, like, if I Wisp... Um... Let me think about this. So, if I U-turn into Ninetales, that kills it off. And then I just lose to T-Tar, because I can't kill it with two hits. So, I can't U-turn here. Um, if I darts here, that won't put it into Ninetales range yet. So I don't think that's a play, because, like, he just kills me. If I Wisp... So let's see, Wisp over two turns, that's going to do 12.5%, plus darts, which should do about 35-ish. <sighs> Man, that that's, that's still not enough, even. Actually, he's forced to sack his drill then if I go into nine tails and he's in range of it, right? I think my play here is to wisp. And if he is banded and kills me, because I am bulk invested. So let's see if it is burn knock and it's banded, it does 92 to 108, which means after Sandy kills me, I just have to wisp here. Well, okay, guess we'll never know. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, and I think I just straight up lose the game here. Oh yeah, wait, hold on. It's been an honor, brother. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, we, we, we have to wait, wait, now. Man, okay, that, so that kind of does suck, because I think I did live the knock with my spread, and I could get more chip on it. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to wait here for a bit. <laughs> Let's see, can I kill Drill, actually, with Moonblast? I cannot, there's no way, right? Yeah, I have to Blizzard. Let's see, how many turns left? If I freeze, actually, that'd be hilarious, because I think I have a chance to win here. Blizzard. It's in snow, so... Oh, I still do nothing. <laughs> oh, dude, Ninetales sucks. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we have to let the timer go down. This is for the vid. This is what we want. Pray. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> for the content. Grr, I hate burger. <laughs> This meme is six years old. Let it go. So, yeah, I mean, if I do Blizzard Freeze here, then I have a chance, I think, because I have enough T-Spikes turns. Barely, 12, 24, 36, yeah. So if I freeze into two high rolls, assuming this is um, max HP T-Tar, even if it's no HP, um, I'd need two high rolls. <laughs> wow, Ninetales sucks.
So, let's see. What did I do wrong that game? Um, the, 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 I, I could have more health on my gambit if I just sucker punched the taunted Necrozma. That's a mistake. Um, I should have, I had to switch out of Azu because like the Cloister could have won me the game or won him the game. Uh, Hyper Beam, good play. Can't, can't fault that. Was it ever a play to go hard pull there? I don't think so at that point. Um, because I wanted the balloon alive so that late game drill doesn't beat me. Actually, this game is unchokable even if I do freeze thinking about it. Because, like, T Tar gets frozen, right? Just sacks off the drill and then um, sands back up, which means not only will Blizzard probably miss, but. Um, the uh the poison will kill me off by then so yeah t-spikes are broken uh yeah 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 oh wait i just noticed yeah I, I, i've been playing minecraft uh parkour and um subway surfers in the background um hopefully that helps with the viewer attention and uh yeah all right let's click This one sucks. GG! Exclamation point. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that'll be week one, or week six of TGS. Unfortunately, we do lose 2-0 um, to King L5. Very well played by him. Um, look, guys, I might be a bit rusty, but uh, hope you did enjoy the battle. Um, and yeah, hope you guys have a good morning or day or night stay safe stay in school and uh be sure to watch those old albina youtube clips all right thank you